Hey fellas, this is Tuli from Australia with the 31st episode of the Prayer Podcast. How are you all going today? Today on the Prayer Podcast, we have a testimony about how important your prayers are for sun singing. And this morning, I prayed with Miri. Uh, you might remember from a couple of weeks ago, I did a few podcasts with Miri. So Miri is a member in New York. And uh, she is an oncologist or just about to become a fully fledged oncologist there in New York. And, uh, we only had like five minutes or less to pray together because she was in, be- in between seeing patients. So she ran down to the car park in her, you know, doctor gear and uh, we prayed on Zoom, of course. And when she prayed for, for something, she prayed for every organ in his body, one after the other, like, and it took about two to three minutes. So it's something like, like, I pray for something in brain, heart, lungs, kidney, liver, esophagus, stomach, gallbladder, da 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 and then all of the systems of his body. Wow, it was impressive. That experience just reminded me how different everybody's path in life is. Uh, so Miri has a medical background, has been studying medicine. And for me, you know, my background's in music and uh, classroom teaching. So we have very different perspectives, different focuses for our prayer. Uh, and then I thought, well, every single person has their own perspective and their own past experience, their current situations, future goals, talents, abilities, even cultural background. All of this uh, goes into, flows into how you pray. And that's very, uh, very beneficial for Sonsang Nim because you can see Sonsang Nim from a particular perspective and you can pray from that perspective. So in that way, if all of the people around the world in Providence pray for Sonsang Nim, this is a very holistic prayer. You know, we can fill in all of the gaps of what to pray for him. And there isn't anyone who can pray like you. It's like your thumbprint, right? So Sonsang Nim needs your prayer. Just like Son Singnim needs Miri's detailed medical prayer. So when we put all of our prayers together, we can cover all of the bases for Son Singnim. Of course, with the word as the center, you know, and I got this inspiration another time in the podcast. Uh, It's actually happened every time I've prayed with someone uh, on this prayer podcast. One that comes to mind in particular is when I prayed with Bridget from Sydney Church. Because, you know, when someone's heart is very different to yours and you think wow this is looking at you know love for god and providence in a a different way to what is usual for me so when i heard bridget's prayer it was like a a big french door opening up on onto a beautiful balcony looking over a lake or a you know wonderful scenery and yeah opened up my heart to praying for new things for something him As for me, I'm, and I always have been, sensitive to environments. So since I was little, I've always felt the vibe of each environment super clearly. And if it was a bad one, I'd feel so irritated in my heart and it would stay with me. I'd feel it like it was sitting on my heart even when I left that place. And on the flip side, if I went to a really good environment, whether it was spiritually good or physically good, then I'd blossom and show a lot of hidden qualities that uh, I wouldn't usually show. So for me, I pray a lot for Son uh, physical, mental, spiritual environment in a lot of detail because that's what I'm, that's what I'm kind of sensitive to. And uh, yeah, I feel like that's a beneficial prayer for Son And part two of this podcast is me praying for this prayer podcast over the last two weeks i've been praying a lot for god's direction in the prayer podcast and instead of receiving like a a big inspiration like a sign from somebody calling me to talk to me about it or uh, god give me a cloud revelation i just kept getting little um like breadcrumbs like in hansel and gretel the fairy tale i just kept getting little uh, inspirations through the word, confirmations through my feelings uh, and thoughts. And uh, the feelings that have been coming up 
is that I really want to do this with a group of people. I want better synergy because on my own, uh, you know, having full-time work, I, I get really um, tired. Perhaps my physical routine, like my physical exercise routine, could be better, but it's getting better. But still, I, it's a big day for me at work. And uh, then on my own generating this prayer podcast it's uh, I feel like I'm you know paddling too hard on my own and I really want to do this together and so <laughs> the song we're all you know we're all in this together that song from high school musical came to mind and I just looked up the clip so I looked at that and I thought gosh it's so cringy then I saw another clip of the same title but it was by Ben Lee and I thought oh, I wonder if this is the same song so I clicked into that and it was a just a solo guitar guy singing along and the melody was like slightly the same but and then I thought no no this is a completely different song I thought it's okay it's all right uh, but then another YouTube uh, video came up with this Ben Lee version of we're all in this, this together However, it was a pub choir version. So probably like hundreds of people around Australia got together to sing it. And the fact that they were doing it all together, like all ordinary people together. Um, yeah, uh, singing, you know, a co with a common voice. There was nothing very special about anyone's voice. It's just like, you know, like someone singing a footy, a footy song or a soccer chant. And it, it made me cry, even though the song itself wasn't that special and none of the voices were special. But the fact that it was done all together with people from all walks of life, all different ages, that was special. And then I yeah, also heard what Pastor Sky was talking about on um, the Thursday Sermons in the Sky about doing things. It's better to do things at a lower level where everyone can contrib contribute uh, better than just trying to do things at a higher level with you know one or one or two people and I really agree with that I'd love to do this together with a lot of people who like a pool of people that we can kind of rotate through I have tried to do this in the past uh, yeah a lot of things happen along the way so anyway I'm just putting my heart out there what I'd like to do and whether I continue with this podcast or start something entirely new on a different channel that's still to come and yeah I'm praying about that um, yeah how we can move forward from from here yeah so for this podcast um, 31 the key point is praying together with people can open our mind up about how to pray for something new. it also helps us to appreciate each of our own individualities and what that means for something new. What is it in your prayer that Sonsangnim needs that I can't see? What is it in my prayer about Sonsangnim that you can't see? When we put all of our perspectives together in prayer, this creates a whole. This is the harmony and unity and also humbleness, knowing that it's not one person who can pray everything perfectly for Sonsangnim. We need to pray together. And praying with people, it knits our hearts together. I've noticed over the last, I don't know, maybe around two years since I've been doing little podcast segments or this prayer podcast, that the people that I've been praying with, these are the people that I'm able to talk more deeply with and I've been able to have a better relationship with because through that prayer together, you're thinking together, you're uniting your thoughts, you're creating seeds for healthy conversations healthy lives you can encourage your brothers and sisters and open up new thoughts for them and how they can pray for son singing and it also provides shelter during this tribulation time as well so this you know talking together is healthy um yeah instead of just texting and uh you know watching service on internet or things like that it's good to really pray and talk together so, yeah, let's do a high five and challenge each other this week. How about doing a five-minute prayer for Sonsangim 
with one person in your church this week, okay? So a five-minute prayer for Son Sengim together with a person in your church this week. So you can just ask them at the end of service or end of pre-dawn, whenever it is. Do you want to pray together just for five minutes for Son Sengim? Or if that's too much, just go for a two-minute prayer. And then, yeah, let it... Let us know below what your experience was like. Were you the one who was inspired by the other person's prayer? Or did they inspire you? Let's share about this in the comments below. And also give us a thumbs up before you leave and a g'day in the comments. All right. I hope this was um, helpful for some of you out there or all of you maybe. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> have a great weekend, everyone. Uh, have a great weekend with the Lord. Peace.